to that Maywolf, but now Prophet holds the Blizzard in his hand. Snowball ready to turn the fates of the Soul Dynasty. There's the Jimmy Photon Barrier. Charge play behind it. The Blizzard from Prophet thrown past it. Soul Dynasty have to go no it. I almost died of a heart attack. Charge also dropping Barrier too. They seem fine for now. As the dice fall, you have Prophet on the flank getting healed up by Lee Su Min. Is by Bellos Rhea's side without Piggy in the picture. Dynasty can run amok and bulldoze the rest of the charge, but with Farway popping at Matrix, Dynasty are forced to use PH's Photon Bear to protect themselves. Everyone is throwing ultimates and not really knowing what the result of the fight will be. Now a blizzard in a 3v3 from Choice A1 and charge hit by the Bellos Rhea Shatter. And I as we're really left- got frozen out of his shadow there. Still not oh. enough to win out the fight. A all time blizzard from Choice A1, but Farway being picked on the other side meant that there was no healing to sustain the fight itself. Now Soul Dynasty, they have to lock in for the long hold here, Lemon. The Helm's Deep here on Control Center. Piggy once more has a slam. Last time it hit four and spelled doom for the Soul Dynasty. They're on the deficit from there and a TP on to the point. Such a long brawl for charge through a million and one ultimates. Got them to 94%. Dynasty half point control. Shot away! Around the corner! Dynasty find themselves six feet under with Piggy on top! MTD, MTD, MTD. <laughs> There's a reason why Piggy's number on this team is 69, baby, because that shadow was nice. And that's twice now Piggy's done that. A four-person shadow and a five-person shadow. Piggy is him. PH can't even translocate. He will go back to spot. Nope, he's dead. Damn, man. That's crazy. Piggy's having fun. <laughs> yeah, Piggy is having fun. I wonder if Prophet got blasted deep enough inside the subway that maybe they would have been able to change their spawn room. Uh, alas, was not to be, and Guangzhou Charge has taken a huge amount of room here. I believe they've left Xerneas on the cart behind him. Yeah, you can see farway has got the heals coming through from just behind. This gives a lot of staying power to Piggy to try and force Soul Dynasty to use resources to only even move out of a foundry area. Oh, Piggy got hacked, but he's in a safe spot. Soul Dynasty EMP waiting for Charge to be in this open area together. EMP from PH! Xerneas and Jimmy hit rally. For, oh, no, actually, the uh, Nano onto <laughs> Xerneas to keep him up. Charge still antied and managing to keep Bellos Rhea in his place. Five to four. Charge need to take this space and go for kills. Peach just translocate back. Piggy ain't done yet. He smells blood in the water. You found PH. Multiple translocates out and charge one fight away from winning the map. And three minutes and 40 seconds in which to do it, Lemon. A well placed Dragon Strike here. If Soul Dynasty overstack themselves on the right hand room, might be brutal. Profit noted by Jimmy, but for now, Choice here wants the first to fall. Yeah, Charge down one this fight. They have the Jimmy Dragon Strike. I wonder if they're trying to funnel Soul into a small area to do so. Dynasty anchoring the cart too. Charge falling back for Choice A1. Being aware. And not being able to bait Dynasty into this narrow area for the Jimmy Dragon Strike. So they'll have to go with Plan B. Splitting off into the alleyway is the charge. Trying to take angles around. The rally from the defense begins. The Dragon Strike right through. Bellosuria jumps out. And Prophet kicks up the fight for the defense. Good pulse on the far way. Xerneas with the rally is the only source of healing for this offense. And charge just don't want that smoke. Krillin using the 3D peep with a shield to get a good view here of what's happening on the flanks. Choice here, one noted as they approach. Uh, Pulsum goes in, Profit dies. Hello, hello, hello. Tracer on Tracer bomb action. Nano Krillin, a lot of sustain in this back line as they try to join their tank. Soul Dynasty down. Charge up by one. Tribal from Piggy. That'll be all she wrote. And Piggy's gonna make sure they heard it. The MP from PH. She's the only one left and only manages to kill one. Soul Dynasty dead in the water. And Charge have not dropped the map yet. Oh, 12k damage done by Choice Air One. I mean, Void, last time we got Nano, they C9, so that didn't help. Charge have four ultimates, almost five. Going into the end of point C. Krillin's gonna play as deep as he can, away from range of tracers, divas, dragon strike gets void a bit low. 
But he'll have a self-destruct to pop, and he wants to put it at a good place. Right on top of the box, blocked by Xerneas' shield. Piggy able to get back into the mech, or actually use his self-destruct. An explosive performance by the charge, as they cap with 90 seconds. Dude, choice A1 is him. There's no other way to say it. What in the world is he up to? Already two sticks. One minute 16 per pulse bomb earned. Once again, choice A1 is pulling ahead of Prophet in the Tracer stats. Only one death so far. And it makes sense now why we saw Krillin use that weird rally. Wanted to swap over onto the, uh, onto the Zen. Let's look at Choice A1. And it makes sense you want to swap over to the Zen when Choice A1's being as difficult as they are. Like, while the Brigator does have good survivability against the Zen, at this level, you kind of want to, you want to put your faith in Profit, right? You want to try and give him a double orb duel where he's got the Harmony Orb, Choice A1's got the Discord, and it gives you such a huge advantage of a Tracer versus Tracer, but unfortunately... It meant that Soul Dynasty had little to defend themselves from Piggy when he started marauding through towards the back line. Yeah, Soul Dynasty, I mean, they're trying different things. They're nanoing Void, but they're not communicating about cart presence. Prophet is confused on whether to help with the tank duel and to demeg Piggy or to duel with Choice in one on the cart. Doesn't know where he should have his presence at ph goes to the sombra which emps have been good soul dynasty able to force an early transcendence from far away had a couple fight losses for the charge ph narrowly missing a headshot there on himself i mean so he'll swap <laughs> nice pocket here from xenius just keeping jimmy a little bit safer but actually goes for a swap and then swaps back We'll give it a little reset on the grapple if need be. And this is the sniper duel I wish to see. And Jimmy's now once again clued in to Profit returning. And he's playing a lot further back here. Remember that with mostly squishy characters, the damage drop off of those headshots, not so much of an issue. And just getting into position is Soul to the high ground. Kish sticking to the Widow here is brave against, but I guess you only have choice A1. It's going to be hunting you down. Soul, though, aren't getting much progress. And if you remember Charge's attack, this was pretty smooth sailing. So already better contest from Charge and a good understanding. And PH understands how to hit headshots. Wins that against Jimmy. Five to four. But Soul Dynasty, can they get the cart moving from this? A brutal shot. Didn't see pre seem pre pinged after just down to that reaction time. And Piggy, so much damage being taken. The anti put onto both Xerneas and Farway. So they've got to look out for themselves now. So Piggy isolated without as many heals, but manages to find a mega. No Sombras to control those. Means that it's whoever can get there first grabs them a profit. Did it again. Prof or PH doing a great job to ignite this Soul Dynasty offense. Transcendence, though, from far away and a 4v4 gives Charge a chance to contest. But this brings out the Nano from Void, who wants to get this done as quickly as possible. Piggy self destruct buys a few more seconds for the Charge to get their feet on this cart with 0.29 meters. Charge reestablished. Now have to fight through the self destruct. And Soul Dynasty throwing a lot of ults at this and not able to convert. And without least two minutes, up the Krillin to keep them up. Choice Air One still filthy with it. 29 centimeters. Still between Gong Guangzhou Charge and Oblivion. But they dug in their heels and they refused to move. A little bit of an escort here for PH. Moving around the outside. And Jimmy doesn't quite want to take this door considering how much support there is for PH. And now, as things start to break down and people start to spread out more, you can try and take your duels as Jimmy. Nice one clip by Choice A1. Going after Lee Su Min next. Krillin, attention, misses the bash. Choice A1 with Mega has three people after him. Soul Dynasty just need to trust and profit to deal with that. You can't be chasing a tracer around. And forgetting about the front line. Now Krillin and friends return to the cart. Less than one minute. The rally at the front. And charge contest with their own rally. And Dynasty just can't seem to get a clean team fight win. 
thing is, Choice one as well. He kites back this way, knowing that he can bait people into Jimmy's sightlines. But Prophet's managed to make it all the way to the back and kill Jimmy. Now Piggy might well stand alone, zone away onto Xerneas, but Choice one's evened it up. Two Widows dead, and a trance is still available. Yeah, the charge it continues cycling. As long as Piggy is up, does Farmer want to pop trance to save Piggy? Ah, uh, he's like, I'm a bomb this one. Throws it over <laughs> the roof. Soul Dynasty live. And Soul Dynasty, this has been a minute crawling through. Need to crack this egg. Void sent in with the nano, but the transcendence counters it. Soul Dynasty only have a self destruct and they don't have a widow for picks. Is this about to be a full hold after PH contributed so much to this fight? Charge, put the dynasty to bed. And me too, actually. Charge, 3-0. <laughs> Guangzhou charge of popping off Lemon and every single member of this team has gone so huge. It might be Charles who's getting coronated in my neck of the world today, but I only recognize one king, and that king is Choi Se-Wan. This guy has been absolutely brutally efficient throughout this entire series, and honestly, I didn't think that you could head in.